guys, CG here, and welcome to episode 5 of our Minecraft 1.11 modding tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be adding some custom information to our blocks by extending the block class, which is going to be real fun. You'll love it. So right now, we're just creating a new instance of the class block, which is fine, but it's leaving us with the default values. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. I'm going to call it Block Tutorial. Now these block-specific classes are going to have to extend block, which will of course need to be imported from the right location. And we need to add the constructor, which by default requires a material. I'm not going to require a material when we create an instance of it. Instead, I'm going to return what type of material? How about clay? So back in our blocks class, replace all of this with just new block tutorial. That makes our lives a lot easier. So back in this class, what can we do once we've done this? Well, we can say this dot set hardness, so it's harder to break now. In survival, this dot set steps uh, or sound type sound type. You can change what the block sounds like. Let's say metal. We can make the block release light. Set light level. Let's set this to 1.0 for now, because I don't actually remember light levels. Light opacity. By default, I believe this is zero, which means no light will pass through the block. Okay. Now let's try playing. Okay, so here's our tutorial block. If we place a few of those down, because we can, and we get ourselves... Uh, tools don't matter, because we haven't set that up yet. You see, we walk up to this, it's no longer an instant break. And the item drops, because it can, but that's unimportant. So this is what 1.0 hardness feels like, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so in order to create a minimum harvest level, for example, let's say you have to have an iron pickaxe, we go back into our class and we say this dot set harvest level. Now I'm going to say pickaxe level 2. Level 0 is wood, level 1 is stone, level 2 is iron, level 2, or level 1 is also shared with gold. Diamond is level 3. So back in our survival world, you can see that drops. The main reason is that we have it set to material.clay, which drops items even if you don't have a shovel. So if we want to change this, we can change it to something that doesn't drop, if you have a tool. For example, iron. Okay, here we are, and... There we go. Now you'll see if we try to break this with our hand, it won't exactly work, and it is destroyed because we have the harvest level set to a pickaxe of iron or better. So let's go to game mode one and get ourselves a nice setup of, uh, of tools. Ooh. So we'll go wood, stone, iron after gold, then diamond. Okay, let's go back into survival. So wood should not work. Perfect. Stone should not work, nor should gold, but iron works and diamond works. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now there is of course a bunch of other cool stuff you can do. If you type this dot in Eclipse, it gives you a huge list of the settings you can go through. But for now, that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.